Hello, hearty girls, healthy women, and supportive males. I'm really sorry I can't be there tonight to help celebrate the leadership and contributions of Maine women and girls. I'm joining the president for an event in Portland tonight. As the proud father of two strong daughters, I know he would share in my applause for those being honored this evening and for this organization's extraordinary efforts to enhance the lives of all of us. I want to talk to you a little bit about change. Sometimes change is quieter and begins when someone refuses to sit in the back of the bus. Or a mother says no to chemicals in her infant's food. Or consumers demand cruelty-free beauty products and food. Sometimes change comes boldly. And sometimes opportunity and equality slip in through the back door when the right attention to the right things unleashes change that is just as revolutionary. Hardy Girls Healthy Women is identifying and tackling the right things. They have reminded us that it is not our girls who need to change, but rather it is our media, our schools, our families, our communities, and sometimes our laws. It is the culture in which we live that is in need of repair, and we really can do something about it. I am so proud to come from a state that has a strong tradition of nurturing and supporting women leaders. Kathy Plord. You have shown us the power of arts to create change. Carolyn, Cassidy, Lindsay, Ray Jean, and Josephine, you have already demonstrated that you don't have to be in Washington to be a leader, and you don't have to be a politician to make a difference, and you don't have to be a grown-up to make Maine and our nation a better place to live. I applaud the vision of Hardy Girls Healthy Women that all girls and women experience equality, independence, and safety in their lives, these are basic human rights. In my work in Washington, I am consistently faced with proposals that would strip away the gains we've made in the last several decades. I want you to know that you can count on me to continue to do what is right to protect the dreams, the health, and the rights of the women and families I serve. Enjoy this celebration, and thank you to everyone there this evening for participating actively and empowering our state's emerging leaders. Girls rock.